Hi, yogis. Happy Friday. Welcome. So we're going to do a pretty much a one hour class tonight just to kind of end the week. So let's start by getting nice and grounded. Bring your feet together all the way, toes and heels touch. Make sure your legs are strong, your belly is in, your spine is long, your shoulders are relaxed, and then find a point to look at. So, you know, if you have a mirror, just find something to focus on with your eyes. We'll come back to it again and again. Let's start with our breathing. Interlace your fingers all the way to the webbing, knuckles under your chin, eyes forward, shoulders relaxed, and begin. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. and change arms by your side. Just take a couple of normal breaths here. We certainly have the yoga dogs again joining us this afternoon. <laughs> I think they're kind of getting used to this. Look, they're starting to like it. <laughs> All right, second set. Interlace your fingers, put the other thumb on top, knuckles under your chin. Again, just find that point of focus, relax your shoulders and begin inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. So breathe in through your nose. Mouth is closed, but use your throat. Put the tip of the tongue at the roof of the mouth. Open the throat. Exhale. Now open your mouth. Imagine you're making a ha sound, like you're trying to fog up a window pane. Stretch your elbows forward. Maybe they touch. Inhale. 
Pull your belly in. Create length in your spine. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Expand your lungs. Exhale, head back. Try to squeeze all the air out of your lungs. We get a lot of toxins out of our body here as we exhale. Beautiful. Two more inhale. Exhale. Deepest one, inhale. And exhale. And change, arms by your side. You wanna move your shoulders or your head around a little bit just to kind of loosen up any tension that's totally fine here. So from now on, only try to breathe in and out through your nose, okay? Just kind of keep, remember that nose breathing, super, super important with this practice. Let's start with half moon. Inhale, arms up. Interlace the fingers, release the index fingers, arms locked out, chin up, chest up. Inhale, up, and then warm up, right and left, back and forth two times. So just kind of stretch from side to side, push your hips a little bit. Just kind of feel, this isn't, you know, a way that we normally move throughout our day, you know, just to the side. So we are getting a nice stretch for the spine and the hips and just kind of getting you warmed up a little bit. Right and left. Do both sides equally and then stop back in the center and recheck your alignment. So palms together, arms with your ears, chin up, chest up, upper body back, hips forward. As you inhale, stretch up to the ceiling. Exhale, right. Hips left, nice straight line for about 50 seconds here. So what does that mean? Your shoulders are in one line. You know, your hips are in one line. So if you can imagine your body kind of pressed between two panes of glass. So the stretch is happening on the side of the body. But you're creating length. So if you can pull your belly in and up, you're going to get more length in your spine. Your weight is more in the heels. Keep those legs strong and just keep breathing here. If you have a mirror and you can see your alignment, great, but otherwise you just kind of feel it. Arms with your ears if you can. Keep those shoulders down, but keep the grip strong and keep your arms strong as well. Last couple of seconds. Change, come back to center. Follow your breath. As you inhale, stretch up, get super tall. Exhale, left, hips right. So the alignment is like water coming out of a fountain, up, out, over. So you don't bend. Again, you're creating length. And if you can kind of use that left hand to pull the right arm over, you're going to feel that great stretch, even more of a stretch down the right side body. But you also feel some lift down the left side as well. So push the right hip a little further, press your heels into the floor, and breathe. Just kind of see where your breath takes you. You know, always feels a little different without the heat. So you might not find yourself going as far, but that's okay. You're still getting an amazing stretch. This is great for your spine, great for your core muscles, and really great like to kind of reshape your body from the inside out. Really good for the waistline as well. Change, come back to center. First back bend, relax your head back, um, move it around a couple times if you want, just gently to kind of release, but then drop it all the way back and lock out your arms. As you inhale, stretch up, exhale now, point back, look back, lean back. So relax your arms and shoulders first, squeeze your palms together, and just reach across the ceiling towards the back. Your legs are strong, stomach, hips, thighs forward, weight is in the heels. And again, your heart, keep lifting it up higher towards the sky. Look back, point back, go back, and change. Now come up slowly, let the blood settle. Inhale up and exhale, come forward. So you can come down with a flat back or you can bend your knees, you can walk it down, whatever feels good. Watch out for any camels, it might be in the way. And then we just do a little warm up here, so kind of, Freestyle, whatever you want to do to kind of loosen up wherever you might feel a little tight today. So you can walk it out. You can interlace your hands behind you, roll your arms forward to release those shoulders. That feels good. You might do a little like a froggy, a little squat, or down dog, or, you know, lunges, or you know, give your hands. I always like to remind you to give your hands and feet a little love here. 
So stretching the tops of the hands, maybe the tops of the feet. And then let's go ahead and set up. First set hands to feet, feet together all the way. Bend your knees so you compress upper and lower body and then reach around, either scoop up your heels from behind or just grab your calf muscles, either way. Palms face forward, compress, lift and relax your head. So imagine your head is just like a bowling ball, so heavy and it's just relaxing, hanging, kind of stretching your neck. And then use the, this, this grip, pull the stretch into the spine, shift the weight forward, lift your hips, stretching your legs, your back. And again, just letting that head relax. Imagine your elbows coming back towards one another, maybe touching one day behind your calf muscles. Keep breathing. And change, come up slowly. So strong arms and hands. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, let your arms float down. And just take a breath. Find your stillness. You know, your spine is getting nice and warmed up. Let's do it again. Second set. Inhale, arms up. Interlace, other thumb on top. Release your index fingers, arms locked out. Follow that breath as you inhale, stretch up. So pick up your rib cage. Exhale, right. Hips left. 30 seconds. It might not be a really big movement here, but again, you're stretching that whole left side body. Notice that separator and breathing. It's kind of, again, feeling the length you're creating, making yourself like a little bit taller. And think about more room in your torso, so kind of letting those internal organs have a little bit more room to breathe. Last couple of seconds. Change, come back to center. Follow your breath. As you inhale, stretch up and pick up the rib cage. Exhale, left, hips right. So your inhales give you length and strength, and then your exhales always give you a little more flexibility. So you can always follow that breath. You know, in yoga, every movement follows the breath. So, you know, we connect the mind and body through the breath. And we just kind of notice how that breathing guides us. And again, in every single movement, every single posture. So pushing the right hip a little further. Last few seconds, if you want to take it one more place. Change, come back to center. All right, relax your head back again. You know, move it around a couple of times. Be gentle with your neck. Lock out your arms. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, point back. Again, look back, lean back. So relax those arms, lift your chest, keep those legs strong. You know, you're opening the front of the body here. And back bends are great for your back and spine. You're also kind of learning to trust yourself. You're not sure exactly how far you're gonna go, but you've got those strong legs for support. Back bends are also about overcoming fear. So look back, lean back, go back and change. Now take your time, come up slowly, let the blood settle. Inhale up, exhale, come forward. So again, however you get there is fine. Bring your hands to the floor and let's do another little warm up. Hi, so walk it out, shake it out, whatever feels good. <laughs> Pet the dogs, the cats, whoever you got there with you. <laughs> I think, I really think the animals are starting to like you. I'm going to love you left. Uh oh, he did. He's our star. He needs to come back. <laughs> He's turning into a famous yoga dachshund. <laughs> I only knew his inner psyche. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't, his lifestyle doesn't really embody the, 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 the yoga principles, but that's okay. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and set up for our second set hands to feet. So again, feet together. Bend the knees, upper body on lower body. Reach around, get your grip, wherever that grip is. Lift your hips or drop your head. Shift that weight forward. That shoulders away from the ears. Engage your quads, engage your core to release the, you know, the hamstrings and then to release that back and spine. Let your head hang heavy. Lots of blood going to the brain. These inversions are really cleansing. Really good for us here. A couple more seconds. Change, now come up slowly. So arms with your ears, inhale all the way up. Exhale, arms float 
down and again, just take a breath. Might feel a little taller, a little better already. Awkward, right foot steps right. So measure if you want to, two fists between your toes and heels. That's gonna be a perfect distance for you. So, and then make sure your feet are parallel to one another like the number 11. Inhale your arms up parallel to the floor. Lock them out, stomach in, exhale and bend your knees. Like you're sitting in a chair too far behind you. So pick up your toes, make sure you can wiggle them and set them back down. Stretch your neck up, drop your shoulders down. Belly in, you're breathing here. This is waking up the big muscles, arms and legs. Change, come up, arms stay here. Second part, just float up on your toes as high as you can go. You Imagine you're wearing like giant stiletto heels here. So get them super high and then lift your knees up, but keep that height. So the stiletto shoes are not good for your feet, but this posture is great for your feet, your ankles, your quads, and your balance. Change, come up. Heels down, arms stay here. Third part, come up just a little on the toes and squeeze your knees together. Imagine you're grabbing your winning lottery ticket there. Don't drop it. Now you can start sliding down and you gotta listen to your knees. So you, know, you may go all the way down. You may just go a little ways, but wherever you are, squeeze those knees together. Work those inner thighs. Change, take your time as you come up. Heels stick together, arms by your side, take a breath. Second set, right foot steps right. You can just feel your footprint. You can look or measure if you need to. Inhale your arms up. So lock them out, nothing loose or hanging. Stomach in, exhale, bend your knees. Again, sitting into that imaginary chair. Pick up your toes, set them back down. Stretch your neck up, drop your shoulders down. I hate to say that I'm gonna look here because I can smell it. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's just, you know, <laughs> change. Come up, arms stay here. Second part, inhale and float. So again, just lift up, get those heels high, and then lift your knees up like there's strings on your knees. So the baby toes might come up off the floor because that weight is really going more toward the big and second toes. Find that one unmoving point for your eyes. Change, come up, heels down, arms stay here. Okay, last part, come up a little, squeeze those knees tightly, and then you can slowly slide down. Again, listen to your body, listen to your knees. Spine is straight, squeeze all the muscles from your kneecaps to your navel, so you get everything super strong here. Change, take your time, come up, heels down, feet together, arms down, take a breath. Eagle, inhale, arms up, palms together. So think about right and left, exhale, swing your right arm under your left, cross twist. Now if you can, you get your palms in prayer. If that's too much, grab your shoulders. Pull your elbows down and now sit down low, Stay low and then bring your right leg up, over and around and squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your knees, your inner thighs. Point your right toes down toward the floor. Your foot might be behind the calf muscle, that's cool. Inch the toes down toward the ankle if that's where it is. Otherwise it can point to the floor. And sometimes that foot is gonna come out and help you balance. It's all good. Change, feet together, inhale arms out. Exhale, left side, left under right. And you might lean forward a little to get into it if you have tight shoulders. Elbows down, sit low, stay low, and then left leg comes up, over, and around. With strength, you know, and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So the weight is more in the heel. And I want you, you know, this is called eagle. So it's great for the major joints of the body, but it's also about focus. So if you can think of an eagle, with that 100% focus with their eyes and just find that one point to look at. Change, feet together, inhale, arms up, second set. Exhale, right side, right under left. Cross twist, elbows down, sit low, stay low, and then right leg up, over, around, and squeeze. So knees more to the right here. So everything lines up down the center of the body. 
You keep pulling your elbows down to release your shoulders. Uh, one day fingertips go below the nose. Get your thumbs close to your face too. And great for those joints, great for the shoulders. Change, feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, left side, left under right. Again, crossing, twisting, elbows down, sit low, stay low. Left leg up, over, around, and squeeze. So seven joints, major joints on each side of the body we're working on here, as well as your focus, like an eagle, and then helping our right brain, left brain work better together with these kind of cross body postures is pretty cool as well. Keep your chest lifted, core engaged, breathing, change. Feet together, inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down. Nice deep breath. And then have a little water if you want. So artificial water break. Hope you guys are doing great out there. We really miss you guys so much. Um, it's nice we can stay connected through technology. No, we do miss seeing you. So remember, keep in touch with us. You know, email, call, social media us because we love to hear from you guys. All right. So let's start our balancing series here, standing head to knee. So bring your feet together all the way, toes and heels touch. Plant your left foot, inhale, right leg up, and we got a minute here. So your ideal alignment is your hip and knee are in one line, and then that knee is right over the ankle. And you can have your right foot relaxed or you can flex it. Now you can have your arms by your side, you can grab two inches below your knee, or you might round out and grab your foot, you know, more advanced. But wherever you are, that left leg here is your primary focus. It is not easy to stand on one leg for a minute. Um, over time, as we practice, it does get easier. You're already a little bit over halfway there. So some things that help with your balance are your core, pull that belly in, your focus, your eyes, and then your foot. Notice that left foot. You know, we spend enough time on it here to kind of notice where the weight goes. Does it go to the outside? Can you bring it to center? Can you shift it a little forward more towards the ball of the foot? Change, feet together, arms by your side. Ground the right foot, inhale, left leg up, and do the same grip. So whatever you did on one side, I always encourage the same thing on the other. For a minute, right leg locked. It may feel different on one side than the other. And certainly every time you practice, you know, every day your balance and everything's a little bit different. So we just learn. We don't judge anything. We just learn from it. Make that right leg super strong. So again, the right foot, you notice that weight, shift it to center, shift it forward. And then from there, everything lifts. Your quad muscle lifts, you're already over halfway. Um, you're not jamming your knee joint back, so make sure you, you know, we're using the muscles and strengthening the muscles here. Pull that belly in so we're not sinking into that hip. If you're holding your knee or if you have your arms by your side, try to make yourself a little taller. Belly in, spine lengthening. Let those shoulders and arms stay super relaxed. Change, feet together, stand up tall. Just take a nice breath. Big inhale through the nose. Long exhale through the nose. Second set, half the time, ground that left foot. Inhale, right leg up and get your grip. So wherever you want to go, again, knee, toes, arms by your side, 30 seconds. <clears throat> so your main goal, though, is that left leg. So if it really starts to bend, then go back and just, you know, stand up straight, grab your knee or whatever you need to do. Because that's your main goal. We're halfway is that standing leg, making that strength, working on that balance. If you've got a foot, you can ease the heel forward and then pull back on your toes. Eventually, elbows come down. One day that forehead connects with the knee. Change, feet together, again, stand up tall. Ground the right foot, inhale, left leg up. And again, same grip, knee, toes, arms by your side, right leg locked, belly in. 
And again, that right leg stays strong and straight, hip over knee over ankle. So we're building strong legs in this posture, and they're going to carry us through the next couple of postures, and you're about halfway coming up here. And we're also working on our sense of balance. Pretty amazing, right? Again, it gets easier to balance on one leg as you practice. And, you know, this helps you not just in yoga, but every part of your life having good balance is super important. Change. Feet together. Stand up tall. So again, just let it go. Big inhale. Long, relaxing exhale. Standing bow. Bend the right elbow, palm up. So drop the hand, bend the knee, and just pick up that ankle from the inside. So the inside of your elbow faces out. Relax your knees together. Bring that right shoulder behind you. Inhale your left arm up to the sky. So here we go for a minute. This is the posture. So to go further in it, you're going to start kicking and reaching. So again, your knees are kind of together. You kick back away from you. And you bring that right shoulder with you. So you want your shoulders in one line. Your chin is more towards the left shoulder, though. So you can find a place forward to look at. Your arms are stretching in opposite directions. So you really open up the shoulders. You're already halfway there. So again, this is a great opening for your chest and shoulders. And you're creating this length down the left side body. In the right side, you're getting a pinch in that back. This is great for kidney, adrenal gland. Keep shifting the weight forward. And then go back to that last posture, right? That strong standing leg that you built. You know you've got it. So you can really balance there. And then as you add the kick and the reach, it's going to let you go a little bit further. Change. Feet together. Stand up tall. So interestingly, you might feel your right shoulder a little more released, and you might feel your heart rate up a little. It's a pretty good posture. Other side, bend the left elbow, palm up. Drop the hand, bend the knee, grab that ankle. So knees together, left shoulder back. Inhale, right arm up, and let's go. Kick and reach. So again, it might feel totally different on one side than the other. It might be easier, harder, whatever. Just notice it. So kicking back. Left shoulder goes behind you. And as hard, it's pretty natural that you're going to kick hard, but you want to reach just as hard. And that balance, that energy is what's going to help keep you in the posture. Pull your belly in. Go back to that standing leg. If you wobble, kick a little bit harder, and you're already halfway. And just see where the posture wants to take you today. You know, with the heat again, you might not find yourself going quite as far. That's totally fine. You know, maybe you can get the chest and abdomen parallel to the floor. Your eyes find one point to look at. Again, that's really going to help with your balance. So kicking, reaching, last five seconds or so. You want to go one more place. Change. Good. Feet together. Stand up tall. So just kind of notice blood, lymphatic fluid swirling. It's so cleansing this posture. Lots happening here. Second set, half the time, bend the right elbow, palm up. Drop the hand, bend the knee, grab that ankle. So knees together, right shoulder back, inhale, left arm up. And let's go. Let's just have some fun here. Kick, reach, and breathe, you know? So just enjoy it. See what your body wants to do. Totally get your head out of it and just see what your body wants to do. You were just there, so it knows what it wants. Keep kicking and reaching and balancing. Again, core engage. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Sometimes it's tempting in these huge postures to like, oh, I'm trying so hard. I'm not breathing, but you got to breathe. Last couple of seconds. Again, kick, balance. Take it one more place. Change. Feet together. And just notice that rush. It's such an amazing posture. Bend the left elbow, palm up. Drop the hand in the knee, grab that ankle. Knees together, left shoulder back. Inhale, right arm up. So now lengthen like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And let's go. Kick, reach. And breathe. So as you kick back, you know, you take that shoulder with you. And once you're reaching the end of that left arm, you don't have, like, you know, the length of your arm. You don't have anywhere to go but up. So that kick 
is really the engine of the posture. As the leg comes up, the body comes down. Got about 10 more seconds here. Right leg is strong, core is strong. And you just kind of roll forward eventually. You just kind of roll forward like a wheel. Change, feet together. Nice. So remember, lengthen your exhales through your nose. Calm your heart rate down. Balancing stick. So you want to be at the back of your space, feet together. Now for this one, if you have any back issues, you may put your hands on your hips. Um, you can try if you need to. Inhale, arms up. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, arms locked out, chin up, chest up. Step forward on your right foot like you're stepping on a tightrope. Shift the weight, left toes in the air. Now stretch and go. 10 seconds, leg up. Body down, you're moving like a seesaw, so a straight line, fingertips to toes. You know, you may come down parallel to the floor or somewhere in between. Change, step back, arms stay up. Step forward, left side, toes, heel, shift. Right toes in the air, and go, 10 seconds. So you're going back again to that base we built, right, with that strong standing leg. Your hips in one line, Arms with your ears, belly in, change, step back, and exhale your arms down. Take a breath. Your heart rate's up. It's supposed to be. That's a short posture, but really good for that heart muscle. Second set, inhale, arms up. Interlace, other thumb on top. Release your index fingers, arms locked out. Step forward, right side. Like you're stepping on a tightrope, so get a good base. Shift. Left toes in the air, stretch, and go. Leg up, body down. Arms with your ears, hips in one line. Again, you don't have to go all the way. You want that alignment first. Change, step back, arms stay up. Last one, step left. Toes, heel, shift. Right toes in the air, stretch, and go. Leg up, body down, 10 seconds. Belly in. Look forward, like chin away from your chest. Look forward, not down. Change. Step back and exhale your arms down. Big breath. All right, let's, um, well, however you want to do it, we're going to just kind of step to the left to do separate leg stretching. I can't, there's dogs. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Can you see me? Yes, I okay, yes, okay. I see. All right, so separate leg stretching, nice restorative pose here. Inhale, arms up. Take a nice step to the right, arms down parallel. So your feet are either straight on or kind of pigeon toed in. Now stretch your arms like wings, chin out, belly in, and slowly come forward like a swan dive. Lead with your heart. And then once you're on the floor, you can put your hands in front of you. Um, or eventually you might be able to grab your feet or your heels. But you want to keep a pretty straight spine. So even if your knees bend a little bit, you're going for a straight spine. And just getting a really nice stretch, shifting that weight forward. If you have a grip on your feet or your heels, kind of use it to pull the stretch into your spine more. If you have the grip, shoulders away from the ears, Elbows come back towards the legs. It's a nice release for your legs and back. And then again, a big inversion, lots of blood in the brain, so it's super cleansing. Change, come up slowly, take your time. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, arms down. So you might notice your heart rate's down a little bit, just kind of feels good. Let it go. Second set, inhale, arms up. Take that nice step to the right, arms down parallel. So these arms, these are your wings, like where you want to fly. Stretch, chin out, and then come down. Get a nice flat back. Get your, your grip or hands in front of you. Anytime we can get this fresh blood in the brain, it's a nice reset. So you can always remember to do a stretch like this anytime throughout your day. You can shift the weight forward, belly in, lift those hips, and just stretch your internal organs upside down. No gravity for them. They're having a little party feeling good too. 
change. Take your time. Come up slowly. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, arms down. Again, just breathe. Let all that blood just settle back. All right, you're ready for triangle. Inhale, arms up. Take a big step to the right, arms down parallel. So you can look at your feet and kind of see are your ankles under your wrist. Right toes out, left toes straight on or in, your heels in one line. Bend that right knee and sink down. Try to get that thigh parallel, left leg locked, and then just move your arms like a windmill, right elbow, right knee. Chin to the left shoulder, look up with your eyes, pull that belly in and breathe. Great hip opener. So really, you know, sinking into this, if you can, pushing your right knee back a little with that right elbow, change. Back to center, out of the lunge, switch feet. Left toes out, right toes straight on or in. Bend that left knee and sink down. So we get that thigh parallel, right leg stays strong, and then you just reach out, left elbow, left knee. Your chin is to the right shoulder, but don't crank your neck at all. You can look forward if your neck bothers you, but have your eyes up, you know, giving you that energy, right? Core is strong. Make sure you're still breathing. Big warrior pose. So you don't want to hold your breath. Change. Back to center, out of the lunge. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, your arms down. Nice deep breath, heart rate's up here, it's supposed to be, you know, working every part of the body with that posture. Second set, inhale, arms up. Take a nice step to the right, arms down parallel. Right toes out, left toes straight on or in, bend that right knee and sink into it. Get that thigh parallel, left leg locked, and then you just reach out, right elbow, right knee, chin to the left shoulder, Look up with your eyes, pull that belly in. Second set, you might be a little more flexible, warmed up, those hips a little looser, so maybe you sink a little deeper into it. Your right knee is stacked on top of your heel or ankle. Don't let that right knee go out over the toes. Change, back to center, out of the lunge. Last one, switch feet, left toes out, right toes in. Bend that left knee and sink down. Get that thigh parallel, and here we go. Left elbow, left knee. Chin to the right shoulder. Look up with your eyes. Belly in. Again, find your strength, your power here, your breath. Eyes going up. A few more seconds here. You want to sink into it a little bit deeper. Stay strong. Change. Back to center, out of the lunge. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, arms down. Top of the mountain here, standing series. Just a couple more things before we get to the floor. I know. I'm trying to see how much I can do, right? <laughs> In the hour. Inhale, arms up. Keep it moving. Palms together, cross your thumbs. Step right, three feet or so, arms stay up. Pivot on those heels toward the right and twist your hips. So we'll do just one set of this. Lengthen up, tuck your chin, and round in. One vertebra at a time. Fingertips to floor, forward to knee, eyes open. Back rounded, belly in, shoulders relaxed. Get that forehead to knee connection. That's your main thing here. Working the thyroid. Good for the metabolism, endocrine system, hormones, your third eye, good for your intuition. Change. Come up slowly and stack your spine. Pivot front, pivot left, and twist your hips. So square them off. One line, twist, twist, twist. Lengthen, tuck, and round. Once you've tucked your chin, you keep it tucked the whole time. Fingertips to floor, forward to knee, eyes open, back rounded, belly in. So again, relax your shoulders. You can bend that knee to meet the forehead if you need to. Put a little more weight in the front foot. Try to level up those hips and curve your back. Round your spine. Change. Take your time. Come up slowly. Pivot front. Feet together. Exhale. Arms down. Nice job. Big breath. 
All right, let's do one set of tree or toe. So feet together again all the way. Plant your left foot. Inhale, right foot up. Grab from underneath by the toes. Relax your knee down. Bring your right hand up in prayer. And then if you're doing toe stand, go ahead, bring both hands up and do that. But if you're in tree, you know, trees are just so, just remarkable in so many ways. So think about a tree and be that rooted and at the same time really lifted. So you're super connected to the earth and then lifted into the sky. Toes come up. Everybody change, feet together, stand up to long. Ground the right foot, inhale, left leg up, and then same thing, whatever you did, grab the foot, left hand up, and then toe stand, go ahead. And if this is ever too much for your knee, you can always put the sole of the foot on the leg, on the right leg, but you know, it's a hip opener, it's not about the knee at all, so don't force anything. Trees. Imagine someone has a little string on top of your head, like lifting you up, but your shoulders just melt down your back. Find that place to look. Keep that right leg strong. Toes come up. Everybody change. Feet together. Stand up tall. Big breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. All right, let's relax in Savasana. So if you want some water, go ahead and then just relax on your back. Eyes open. You want to stay present in your practice. It's sometimes hard when the body gets still, not to let the head wander, but we're going to try to stay present because this whole practice is our meditation. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. All right, we're going to do single sets here. So let's start with window moving pose. Inhale, right knee up. Interlace your fingers on top of your leg below your kneecap. And as you exhale, just pull the knee of the shoulder. Left calf on the floor. Relax your right leg, your right foot and ankle, and try to relax your shoulders. So you just use your bicep strength and really pull that knee in as close as you can get it. Change, right leg down, inhale, left knee up. Interlace, exhale, and pull. Knee, shoulder, knee, armpit, right cap down. Tuck your chin. Again, just squeeze. We're massaging the lower digestive tract. So this posture is great for your digestion, but really good to strengthen your immune system. Change, left leg down. Inhale, both legs up. Give yourself a big hug. Squeeze your knees together and down. Relax your feet and ankles. And try to flatten out your spine. So you're getting this compression a little higher up, but you're also, you know, flattening out the back of the neck, rolling that tailbone down, giving yourself a big hug. Change, relax, release. So lots of the jobs is right down here. <laughs> Take a breath. All right, next we do our first sit-up. If you, you know, got back issues or whatever, just skip it. Otherwise, make it strong. Feet together, arms up, low back down. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale, pull back on your toes and then roll over for spine strengthening. So we're gonna do one set of these. A little bit longer, we'll hold it. So starting with Cobra, bring your palms underneath your shoulders, chin on the towel. <laughs> Squeeze your legs together. Inhale and lift up, look up, eyes up. So it's not a push up, you're using your low back strength. Keep your legs, and glutes strong and look up. Let your body follow your eyes. Lift up. A few more seconds. Give your hold a little bit longer. So keep breathing. Change. Chin touch. Look right. Left your down. Let it go. Let your back rise and fall. She's like, why don't you scratch me? <laughs> All 
All right, next, locust. So flip your hands over so they face down. Lift your hips and bring your hands and arms underneath you. Palms down. If, you're, if your elbows bend or anything really hurts, just leave your arms out to the side. Chill on the towel. Point your right toes. Stretch that leg and lift it up. So right leg is super strong. The left leg is relaxed, but try to work every muscle in that right leg. Glute to toes. Stretch it, lock it, lift it. Change right leg down. Point the left toes, stretch that leg, and lift it up. Again, stretch. Feel that skin stretch. Even the back of the right knee, left knee stretches. Lock it, lift it. Change, relax it down, readjust, mouth down, arms closer together, get that air moving, squeeze your legs together, inhale both legs up, lock and lift them, now keep those legs straight and shift the weight, this is your upper cervical spine, keep the legs straight even if they separate a little, and see if you can lift them a little bit higher, change, release, look left, right or down, bring your arms out so the Blood flows back around those wrists. It's really good for those joints, wrist, hands, elbows. So let's fly, full locust, arms out like wings. So palms in line with the shoulders are a little bit higher, chin on the towel. Squeeze your legs together, inhale and fly. Chin up, chest up, look up, lift up, fly up. So it represents your dreams. It's also great for your middle back and spine. So just look up and keep breathing. See if you can fly a little bit higher. Change, chin touches. Look, right, left, you're down. Let it go. Back riding, back home. So next is floor bow. You're welcome to do bridge or wheel instead. For floor bow, bend your knees, grab your feet a couple inches below your toes, chin on the towel. Straight wrist, inhale, and kick. So knees up, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up. Roll forward a little without bouncing. You just want your head below your heels. And just keep kicking. And let the kick open up your chest, your heart. You're curving your spine up. You're looking up. Getting the whole spine here. Change, chin touches, look left, right or down, let it go. Back rising and fall. All right, let's come up. If you want to drop back and do a child's pose. And guess what? We're going to skip fix firm. <laughs> because I don't like it. <laughs> You guys can do it afterwards if you want, okay? So we're going to do our animals. Again, one set, a little bit longer. So just kind of for half tortoise, we want to sit Japanese style. So knees together, feet together, toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, cross your thumbs. Now get some length, stretch up, and then slowly come forward. Let your forehead touch, edge of the baby fingers touch. And just stretch, stretch your arms forward, open your shoulder scapula, your hips back to your heels. And see if you can get that third eye to touch in that intuition center. Great posture to bring your heart rate down. And it'll give you energy, it's like a balancing posture. Really good for your spine. So again, keep inching those fingertips forward. And change, squeeze your legs. Oops, sorry, Trev. as you inhale, come up. As you exhale, arms down. Just take a breath. Camel, stand up on your knees. So knees and feet should be about six inches apart. Now bring your hands to your back and push your hips forward. Kind of bring your elbows close together so you open up your chest. Now go slowly, lengthen up and slowly drop your head back. Chest lifted, stomach hip size forward. Reach back and grab your heels if you want to or if you can. But if not, just hold your back with your hands. Heart is open, hips are forward. 
you know, if you feel a lo little loopy when you're back here, you can shift your eyes up towards the ceiling. You're just opening the front of the body, the chakras, the communication areas. Super powerful posture. Change. Use your hands so your back has that support as you come up. Sit down and take a breath. So you might notice your heart's pounding a little bit, or sometimes that one can make you feel a little lightheaded, even a little emotional. It's, it's not unusual. Next is rabbit. If you've not done it before, watch it for a minute. You don't want to turn your head once you're in it, so just make sure you look before you get into it. Lengthen up, tuck your chin to your chest, and round in. Or to knees, top of the head of the floor. Grab your heels, excuse me, chuckles, pull, and lift your hips. I got to move. So heels together, shoulders away from the ears. Forward to knees, um, keep that connection if you can. And compress the front of the body. Release that whole back and spine. Great stretch for your back. Our deepest forward bend. And then that compression, everything down the front of the body as well. Change. Inhale and just stack your spine one vertebra at a time. Turn around, Savasana. Relax, please. So, those three postures are great for your spine. We get length, we get our deepest back bend, we get our deepest forward bend. Just keeping the spine really strong and really healthy and flexible. Strong sit up, feet together, arms up, low back down. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Shh. Come around, right leg out, left knee bent. So right leg straight out, then the left knee. So the sole of that foot is on that inner thigh. Inhale, your arms up. Interlace your fingers, lengthen, twist, and round. Bring the forward knee, and then pull back on your toes. Now you can totally bend your right knee up to meet the forehead if that's better for you. You want the forehead to knee connection and you wanna be able to pull back on your toes, grab the ball of your foot. Stretching the back, the leg, and that Achilles tendon as well. And then with the forehead to knee, you're getting the thyroid, you're getting that third eye, so lots going on. Change, come up and switch legs. Left leg out, right knee bent, sole the foot on the thigh. Lengthen, twist, round. Again, forehead to knee or knee to forehead. This is also the alignment of standing at to knee, the full expression without standing on one leg. So it's great practice for that posture too. Your shoulders are in one line. Your belly is in, don't forget to breathe. Keep your eyes open. And just stretch. Change, come up. Both legs out, lie back for sit up, and then come right back up. Exhale, exhale. So bend your knees, grab your big toes with your peace sign fingers, walk your hips back, right, left, right, left. So you kind of come off of the sits bones here. Now your knees can be bent if they need to be, otherwise straight legs lengthen up and come forward straight spine. So just a nice forward fold, stomach towards thighs, chest towards knees. Your feet are in one line like you're standing on the wall or mirror or whatever's in front of you. So lengthen up and stretch. And then last few seconds, if you just wanna drop your head, that's totally fine as well. and change, come up, just scoot forward and lie back. Quick savasana, nice deep breath. Strong sit up, feet together, arms up, low back down, inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale, shh. All right, spine twist. So bend your left knee so it faces forward. Um, if you're tight and you want to keep the left leg straight, that's another option as well. You can do it like this. Otherwise, bend that knee, right foot over left knee, right hand behind you. Now, make sure you're not sitting on that heel. Your hips are pretty grounded. Inhale your left arm up, over, around. Grab that knee if you can, or just get close. Now, inhale for length. 
Exhale and twist. Look over your right shoulder and twist. Belly in, lengthen up. Exhale, twist it out. So you're wringing out your spine. You're wringing out those internal organs. Your chin is level. And just look as far as you can with your eyes. Change, unwind, switch legs. So same thing other side. You want that knee bent or straight. Same thing as you did the other side. Left hand behind you. Right arm up over around you can grab that knee if you can so belly in hips level inhale for length exhale and twist so again your inhales give you length your exhales give you that flexibility now this is a posture that we do at the end of class because our body's warmed up for it this isn't one you just want to pop into when you wake up in the morning make sure you're nice and warmed up because a beautiful deep twist for your spine change unwind just kick your legs out and we'll do our final breathing and then you have time for fix more if you really want to do that after class <laughs> so um we're going to do our final breathing but i wanted to show you guys this other breathing technique that i've been using a lot um it's called box breathing some of you probably already know it it's really simple it's just a four count inhale and then you hold the inhale four counts four count exhale Hold the exhale for four counts and then do it again. So it's the boxes. Each part of the breath is the same size. And you'll find it, I hope, you know, really calming. It can really get you grounded if you're restless or anxious. For me, it really helps. Let's try just a couple of those. So inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. All right, now let's do our final breathing. So sitting, again, Japanese style, whatever feels good, we'll do one set. Your spine is straight, your belly's relaxed, your arms and shoulders relaxed here. And you're just going to pull the belly in, force the air out of your mouth, and just let the inhales happen naturally. Here we go. Take a nice deep breath. Now, when you're ready, just turn around. Take a final savasana. You know, maybe you can give yourself a little bit more time here to just kind of relax and let everything settle in. Close your eyes. And do a little scan of your body. So, like top of the head all the way down to the toes. Just make sure there's no tension anywhere. Just totally relax. Again, letting the benefits, you've, you've worked every part of your body, all the muscles, organs, glands, everything, and, you know, just all the systems. So let all that settle in. Take some nice deep breaths. Have a great night, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow and Sunday at 10. Namaste.